Did you have dinner with Colin Kaepernick last week? I did not have dinner with him, but I, I did hang out with him for close to three hours in okay. New York on Saturday so night. So let's hit the storylines that we hear about him. Does he want to play football? Badly. Okay. Is he, is he in football shape? He looked it to me, and from some videos and pictures I've seen mm-hmm. and talking to his trainer and looking at his daily regimen, which includes an Uber from New York City to a remote location in Jersey at 4 a.m. every day so he can get his work in before that park gets crowded so he can throw a couple hundred balls and then come back to the city and then work out for a couple of hours and then go uptown to Harlem and mentor kids in after-school programs. He looked pretty good to me. Would he take a second, third-string gig in the NFL? He just wants a workout. Rich, he told me, like, I understand if I'm this distraction and if they don't want to bring me in their building on a Tuesday like everybody else, I'll get myself to a high school field nearby. Just let an evaluator tell me I I can't compete with T.J. Yates and Brandon Whedon and these guys who teams now have to go to in a dire strait. And if if they see me as a football player, then I would hope to get the opportunity to go in front of an owner and present myself and make him comfortable with me. And, And then I just want to play football. It's just about he can't fill out the job application, right? You want to go work at J. Crew, you walk work and you fill an application. You want to get a job in the NFL this time of year, you got to get a workout on a Tuesday. No one will give him that opportunity. The Tennessee Titans didn't even entertain it. But if 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 uh, prior to making a sale at a J. Crew, the national anthem had to be played and you sat for it, the J. Crew folks might fire you, Jason. So my question is: is what 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 would be what would be his figurative stance should he get the job again? I, I think that would have to be discussed with an owner. I mean, and he gets that. He gets that he's not you know, going to be the same case as everybody else. He's, he's hoping that by keeping his head down, by focusing on his two vocations, football and those advocating for those who maybe don't have a voice or who um, don't have the same opportunities as everybody else, that at some point the need for football will allow him to be evaluated as a football player. And if he passes that test, then he's, you know, he, he's, he would love to talk to owners. He would love to get a, an opportunity one-on-one to sort of share where he is and where he's going and, you know, to work with them. But I guess the assumption has been the football has to come first. And, and to this point, he's, you know, he, he talked to John Schneider. He talked to Pete Carroll. He's talked to John Harbaugh. But that's been the extent of it. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that video, be sure to download our app. And I'll be sure to move week six games to Saturday for that wedding you have to go to. 